Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics Nav Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about customer sales tax. So let's take a look at some of the setups regarding sales tax. First, we want to take a look at tax jurisdictions. The tax jurisdictions are the areas that the state requires that you report and pay specific tax rate. In this case, we have Florida set up, Georgia, and Illinois. If we just concentrate on one of these areas, the districts, we see we have the state of Georgia that we're setting it up to be 3%. For the city of Atlanta, 1%. Fulton County, 2%. Gwinnett County, 2%. And Murray District, 1%. We will eventually combine these all together to have a roll-up tax rate fit for the state of Georgia in this example. So jurisdictions is gonna be areas that we are going to tell the system at what rate per jurisdiction that we're gonna collect sales taxes from on each individual sales order and or invoice. Now we're gonna take a look at the tax areas. And what the tax areas does, this is the feature where we roll up all the jurisdictions into one general area that this area we will assign to each specific customer. So if I look at Atlanta, Georgia as my tax area, we see that we rolled up each individual jurisdiction that belongs to the area of Atlanta, Georgia. So even though we had other counties and other jurisdictions, we didn't include it in here because what we're saying is that the state of Georgia, the city of Atlanta, and Atlanta is within Fulton County, these three together are gonna to roll up into one tax rate. So the customer is not gonna see each individual jurisdiction, they're just gonna get one flat rate of the 3% for Georgia, 2% for Atlanta, and the 1% for Fulton for a total of 6%. But internally, the system's gonna track each individual tax rate per individual jurisdiction. Now that we have the tax area code set up that rolls up each individual jurisdiction, now we just need to assign that to the customer. When I go to the customer, a customer record, you will see the invoicing tab of the customer. We dictate whether the customer is liable or not. You see this little trigger, so it's saying, no, I'm not liable. Yes, he is liable, and in the Atlanta, Georgia County. So now that he is assigned to this, this will default onto the sales order, which you will then charge the Atlanta, Georgia sales tax based and broken down by each individual jurisdiction that we set up. If by chance they are not tax liable, and they should be collecting sales tax, but they're not tax liable, you could turn this off, leave this tax area code as Atlanta, Georgia, and then type in his or her tax exemption number. So that way you're still tracking the sales you made within the Atlanta, Georgia tax area code, but you did not charge sales tax because we turned this off and we do have the related tax exemption number. What do we get off this? There is this one report that's called the sales tax collective report. And if I run this into detail fashion, we could run it in summary fashion, normal or detail. I'm gonna show you detail, include the sales. We could track purchases and use tax. I'm just gonna put a filter on Georgia since we're talking about that. Let's take a look. You will see for the tax jurisdiction of Georgia, here is all the individual invoices, invoice numbers, dates, taxable sales amount, sales tax collected. So now as we scroll down, we can track each individual sales invoices for auditing purposes. And again, it could be in summary fashion, but now we could see our total tax jurisdiction of Georgia that we needed to collect and pay is $11,370.32. Very nice report. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.